I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. I don't need your help. What the hell? Talib, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dad Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. We have been uh, trying to get all of the loyalty missions done as fast as we can, and we have our last one for a little bit anyways, and that, my friends, today as you can tell from the title of the video, is going to be Jack's loyalty mission, and I'm very excited about it because we actually haven't spoken to Jack in quite some time, and she has a very cool loyalty mission, and I highly recommend before undertaking this mission that you have a pretty high Paragon or Intimidate score or anything like that because you're going to need it to solve some issues. So we're going to head down into engineering. Also, by the way, a huge shout out to those of you watching uh, these videos and the premieres and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile nine online. Uh, without you, I would not be able to do these. So thank you so much. So anyways, we're going to head down here. It has been a while since we have been able to speak with Jack and see what she's got going on down here. And there she is. Hello, Jack. Here we go. Let's just jump right into it. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes. I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What do you, what do you mean the other kids? There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... A little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. Hmm, that's a very good point. And how'd you escape? How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me and sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Jeez. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Oh, she is so badass. I'm going to talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Uh, okay. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? Uh, well, I mean, I personally don't care, and I would blow it up even if they were using it. You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. All right, then let's go. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. 
Looks like, my friends, we're going to Pragya to see Jax. We need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Oh, well, wait, can you Remind just... Remind me what you wanted me to do. Yeah, I forgot. I need your help to face my past with Cerberus. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I love how subtly she... She just puts it in a way of like, yeah, no, I just... Listen, I just... I need to face my past, okay? Like... Take everything I just said and boil it down to, I need to face my past with Cerberus, which is exactly what her loyalty mission is going to be today and exactly what we're going to do. Uh, this is, Jack has such a horrific story. Um, and one that sounds you, not unrealistic, you know what I mean? Also, it is worth mentioning that we do still have a loyalty mission for Tally, but we are not going to be doing that until after the Reaper IFF mission for reasons you will see once we get there. If you've played this game before, you know why. Uh, it has to do with a certain guest that we will be taking on to that loyalty mission with us. But uh, if you've never played, well, it's going to be cool. Anyways, so we are now going to head to the Nubian Expanse, which is, yet again, a new system that we can go to. We haven't been able to explore this one before. This, of course, is uh, is where Pragya is located, which means that we have a few different systems that we can go to. So before we go ahead and examine all of Dhaka, we're going to head to Kirtasi and Kalabash and see if we can scan all of the planets and see what we can find. Arriving in Kirtasi, we'll see that we only have one planet that we can scan and a very cool scar and that a uh, star and that's Norhessa. And in Kalabash, we have two planets that we can scan, including Tefnut. Tefnut. Apparently, there's an expansive resort stations. That's nice. Their motto, known throughout the galaxy, is like home, only better. I guess. All the way out here in the Nubian Expanse, and another planet that we can scan, Yom which uh, over 90% of its surface is covered in oceans, but it is a habitable nitrogen oxygen world, but its extremes can be quite hostile to sapient life. So let's go ahead and scan this. There is a colony there with a population. And as you would expect from worlds like this, yes, it's moderate, but it does have some element zero on it. And that's all that we can find, so we're going to head back to the DACA system so that we can finally get Jack her loyalty, her new power, which is actually a pretty good one, and uh, let her face her past, as she said. But first, we got to scan all of DACA. Starting with Zernitra, which is actually a mineral-rich planet uh, that does not seem to have any element zero on it whatsoever. And a couple moderate to poor gas giants that we don't necessarily need. The red planet of Bannock that does have iridium, platinum, and palladium, but no element zero. And finally, the planet we're heading to, Pragya. The jungle planet Pragya is overrun by cho choking hypergrowth caused by industrial mutated plant species. This combined with its relative isolation lack of population has made Pragya an occasional base of operations for drug runners, weapon smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, terrorists, and intelligence agents secret seeking secrecy. So we're going to head here, uh, and this is not a planet that we can even scan and we'll actually leave and see that a hundred percent of DACA is done uh, and only one planet had any element zero whatsoever so not a great system if that's what you're looking for but I think it's time that we land here and uh, see if we can help Jack out of course we are going to be going with a party of Jack she has to go it is hers and like I've been alluding to throughout this series we're also bringing Miranda it is so important I think to bring Miranda on this loyalty mission. Not only is she good in combat because she's one of the best squad mates you can have in the entire franchise, really, uh, but also um, she needs to see this. She works for Cerberus, and I think this is going to be something that, that is going to dictate a lot of what Miranda does from this point forward when it comes to Cerberus. So let's go ahead, let's pick Miranda. And we are going to keep this loadout for a bit. We're not going to worry about our weapons as much because we uh, have what we need. We're not going to worry. We want her overload anyway, so we're not going to put any points in a slam. And uh, we can go ahead and put... We're going to wait, actually, because I think her warp ammo is going to be more important to us than her pull or her shockwave. So we're going to wait, uh, and we are going to proceed forward with what we have, which is the arc projector as a heavy weapon, which is actually pretty useful for a fight that we have later on. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. No, it wasn't. You wanted to. Let's go. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. I 
I just love that it seems like Miranda's almost taking it in as much as uh, as Jack is, which obviously isn't isn't what's happening, but I just think that's interesting. So we'll look around this landing platform, see we're at a secret Cerberus base, one that even Miranda isn't 100% aware of existing. It's just existing. sitting there and plant the bomb in myself. I want to watch this place burn. And we found out a lot that the the plantation here is actually pretty scarily wild. Uh, and even Jack mentioning that, in fact, they had to put it on the roof because everything else would be claimed in hours by the vegetation. The vegetation not reaching that far up. So we'll arrive inside. We already have guns drawn. It looks like we're ready to go. Room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. And we come around the corner here, we can find a locked terminal that we can hack for some moolah. A fat 3,000 credits just from unlocking uh, a little terminal. There's nothing else that we can find over here, nothing over here. But there is actually another hidden thing of 3,000 credits. It's easily missed, so we want to keep an eye out for that. Proceeding deeper into the Cerberus base. I just, I love this mission, by the way. It's very cool, and also just the, just the way that this place was home to the elusive man requested an operation logs again he's getting suspicious when we get results he won't care what we did but if he knew he won't find out the elusive man requested operation logs again. let's go ahead and turn that off sounds like this facility went rogue you'd like to think that wouldn't you he didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man that's true they didn't so checking around, making sure that we're not missing any items as we proceed, because of course, we only get one chance at this. Proceeding deeper into the facility. Look at how cool. I escape into this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. Notice no bodies left. So Cerberus must have sent in some type of cleanup crew of some kind coming down into here. This is where we can actually find the credits that we're looking for is in this area here. Again, easily missable 3,000 credits, so we just want to keep an eye out and make sure that we pick that up. Look at how cool this place is. Giant trees growing through it. Very cool. It looks like that's where we want to go, but we don't want to go there just yet. We actually just saw a locked storage crate here that we can bypass for another 3,000 credits. And this was actually the one we were looking for. 3,000 credits. We're already 6,000 credits in. And we're going to go up here. Now, there's another catwalk up here, but you can't actually use it, even though it kind of looks like you can. And we want to be ready because as we proceed forward, we're going to be dealing with some Varen that are going to start uh, coming out for us. Because, of course, while this place is abandoned, it is not abandoned by the local wildlife. Or not local? Who knows? Go ahead and charge these. We're actually going to go ahead and throw her pole in here just to make these go a little bit a little bit wild. And, I mean, it's Varen. We can handle Varen. No problemo. We're going to deal with this one. Go ahead and melee it. Take it down. We got another one hitting us. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. That wasn't that many Varen. <laughs> you would think there would be more, but only four of them, potentially. Maybe that's why we're not finding anything. Here we can find an old blood stain. We can ask Jack about that looks like an arena that's right they used to stage fights here pit me against other kids i loved it only time i was ever out of my cell jeez what were they studying hell if i know maybe that's how they got their kicks i never understood anything that happened here how often did they do this i was in a cell my whole life sometimes they took me out and made me fight filled me with drugs other stuff time gets funny in a cell did other children die in these fights I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. Jeez. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Imagine literally giving you the thing that your brain is trying not to give you when you get into a fight conditioning. I wonder, actually, if that's like something that professional fighters do. I'd, I'd be very curious to see if that's a, you know? Just just out of curiosity, see if that's like a something, I, or maybe if they've tried that in the past at some point. Right? I don't know. Anyways, we'll find a security log. We found that med kit and a security log as well. Let's open that up and see what else we can find. 
Security officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. And it seems like there is a mystery involved there. We will get morality points based on how we respond to Jack in that moment. Go ahead and proceed deeper on in. We'll find some dead Varen and a this door that we can bypass. This place is to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Varen? It's a fresh kill. Uh-oh. Somebody else has been here. So we're going to go ahead and bypass this door first. Which we can do. And inside of there, we will actually find just some element zero. But 500 of it, which actually now puts us over. Uh, if we go ahead and look at this, we will see that we are now over 100,000 element zero. Which is actually quite a bit. As we proceed down here, all of the overgrowth apparently breaking the windows. Well, we probably should expect a fight any moment now. PDA on the other side that we can't access. Looking in here, it looks like we have... We've been spotted. Vorcha! Oh, no. We're going to go ahead and pop that. Hopefully start taking these out. Watch out for the pyro. Which we can go ahead and charge, get him out of there. He's going to explode soon because we were able to hit his thing. There's also a Krogan that we can hear charging. Pyro should be exploding any moment now. We're going to go ahead and charge this guy, get our shields back, and go ahead and warp. Perfect. Watch out for the Krogan that's attacking us, as well as this guy that we're actually not able to, besides anything else, do. Uh, all we can do is shoot him. We can't actually charge up there. We're going to go ahead and warp you. And we'll go ahead and charge as he's uh, charging us. He's going to go flying. We're going to go ahead and do a pull here, which will send him a little, just a little, a little loose, a little loosey-goosey. We can go ahead and finish him off. We have more Krogan, uh, more Borcha here that we can attack. Unfortunately, not able to charge into this secondary area. But we do have an SMG that is going to absolutely shred through the health of these Borcha. Because Borcha, my friends, are nothing but fodder. Why they need a more? This was a small facility. A lot of children died here. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Very interesting that Jack seems to be going through a little bit of an issue here, thinking that she was the only one that maybe didn't want to be here, finding out that maybe she wasn't the only one that had it horrible. She just thought she was. Anyways, here we can find this PDA to hack. For another 3,000 credits. Absolutely love to see it. I love some money, baby. 3,000 credits. Moving on even deeper into the facility. We're going to have to bypass this door to get through. And bypassing this, we're going to be moving back in. And... It's strange to be back here. I feel like... I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch. But then I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. I can't imagine what somebody like Jack is going through being in a place like this. Anyways, we want to remember these stairs and the fact that we can come back up here because we're going to be dealing with, and we kind of were able to hear it, more Varen are actually going to be approaching, as well as these Vorcha that we can actually go ahead and we're going to warp. And then we're going to pull to get them up. And allow us to attack over cover. Again, incendiary ammo, you can see, is just so beautiful. Kind of pops people out of cover. It's just wonderful. So taking down those two Vorcha, moving deeper into the facility. You can see that there are cells here for each room. We don't want to end up getting ourselves stuck. So while Varen are easy, getting stuck into a tiny little room with them is probably not the way to go. So we're going to start attacking this one. And we can just go ahead and finish them off with some melees. And if you need to, for whatever reason, you can actually they back up on the stairs, you? and they won't follow you. The Varen won't follow you at all. Look at these cells. This is where kids were being kept. Kids that they were experimenting on. Just absolutely awful. Disgusting. Disgusting stuff. How dare you, Cerberus? 
Anyways, we can salvage some circuit boards there for another 3,000 credits. Some kid was stashing his their credits in there. The final cells that we can find. And this place had a morgue, so they were disposing of a lot of bodies. Straightforward, terrifying. It's a two-way mirror. My cell was on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. She thought... She didn't know. She thought that they, the kids could see her. Jeez, man. Poor Jack. She wasn't just tortured physically, it was an emotional thing as well. A heavy episode today, my friends. Anyways, we'll proceed in here. Looks like a bunch of different things, including a chair. Remember, her cell was over here. Let's head this way first. It must have come through here when it broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Uh, yeah, you think? Reminds me of an abandoned building I went once I once went to that supposedly was haunted and it had a chair very similar to this. A friend of mine literally said, This is a bad place. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. Proceeding forward, we can find some power cells, some security logs. Let's go ahead and grab these power cells first, see what we can find, and more importantly, a research terminal. Let's go ahead and hack this. Things that are going to make us powerful. Thanks, Cerberus, I guess. The research that we get from that is I'll going to it. be biotic damage. Who would have thought? Hey, maybe, maybe that's what uh, what allows us to end up saving the galaxy from collectors. Is that that biotic? Okay, maybe not. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. Sounds like they might have been. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. Get more Paragon points from that, and then check out this other Security Council log. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. Isn't that amazing? So the children were attacking Zero because in their minds, they are being used and tortured and murdered for zero. So of course they were going to fight her. And then she's over there. Oh. Rough. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Yeah, all right. Let's keep going, and we're about to get a cutscene as we proceed towards the end of this loyalty mission. Hey, Arash, it's Kirak. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. All right, looks like we got some fighting to do here. We'll see some Krogan, some Vorcha, uh, and, well, I think we can take them down. Uh, it's going to be just fine. Miranda charging in there, 
not great for us. Watching out for that pyro. Uh, hopefully taking it down before it kills us. We don't want Miranda going down as she proceeds into there. We have another blood pack troop over here who we can hopefully... Unfortunately, we are not able to charge because charge is just not where... There we go. We were able to charge through something that would have been horrible for us. Go ahead and get him down back into cover here and we just need to watch out really the danger here is about being flanked as long as we aren't flanked we'll be okay so we're gonna go ahead in on this krogan warrior here watch out for the big guy that's going to be tossing stuff again we can go ahead and charge keep these guys on their toes all day long he's going in with his barrier we're gonna go ahead and reeve that which was going to do a bunch of damage. We're going to get into cover here, wait for our charge. Unfortunately, cover not working. We're going to charge now. Uh, I don't know why we weren't able to get into cover there. Going to go ahead and charge on, or uh, warp on Kurek. Pop in, hopefully hit a little bit more. He's going to charge at us, and we can just do this because the Krogan charge in Mass Effect 2 is just not as strong as you would think it is. We're going to go ahead and pull this Krogan, and hopefully Koresh will go ahead and charge so that he doesn't kill us. He does have that shotgun. We are playing this super close to the face, uh, but I think we'll be just fine as we finish a Krogan with a melee. As I like to do, you know how it is. This guy, we're going to go ahead and charge because he's got a shotgun so he can... Hit us pretty hard. Meleeing Krogan to death. It is the ultimate. It's just, I just love it. It's the ultimate uh, insult. Anyways, we have another Krogan over here that was just chilling and not helping his friends. We'll go ahead and knock him over into the ledge and into his immediate death. Which only room left is my <sighs> Just feels Whoever good. Whoever is, is in there. And right over the there. there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Yeah, whoever Aresh is appears to be here. So we're going to go ahead and bypass the secure container for another 3,000 credits. And we're going to be on our way to take down this Aresh. Whoever that is. 3,000 credits are now ours. So that means we only have one thing left. We don't need any ammo because the rest of this is no combat. I hope that you have a high morality score, whether that is Renegade or... Paragon, as we proceed into the final room, Jack's cell. Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids. Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth, or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it! This place was like a prison. How'd you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that! Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. 
fuck? Get out of here. Go. He's not worth chasing. None of it is. And I am so happy that we were able to do that Paragon option. Now, there are other options that you can go through, normal dialect, and you actually have an interrupt option that you can do as well. Uh, all leading, you can either lead to Aresh's death, or you can have Jack spare him. I think, because of what happens in the subsequent game, I think it is worth letting Aresh live. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. And we also have an option here to either leave or take your time. It doesn't really matter which you choose, but I think we can get more information by taking our Go time. Ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. And we have four different things that we can check out while we're here. And we get 19 Paragon points, a two-way mirror. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell, never did any good. Because it was a two-way mirror, she didn't know. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I hope you get to that table here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. That's one word for it, I suppose. And just a little bit outside of the, the cell itself, we can find an old blood smear. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Just like that, Pragya is destroyed. Another level gain, level 28 now, baby. Facility on Pragya confirmed destroyed. Concerned that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility scientists are already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting her from the mission. Curious what happened to those scientists that died after the facility shutdown. And she has a new ability, Warp Ammo, transform biotic, uh, absorbed biotic energy into heavier damage against health, armor, and biotic barriers. Actually a very useful one, but not one that we'll probably be using. We also have a new outfit for Jack. We have a, another uh, biotic damage that we can upgrade. 30,000 total credits and 500 element zero. And if you have already done Miranda's loyalty, we will be greeted with another scene when we get back to the Normandy, as well as the trophy Catharsis. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. <laughs> Touch me and I will smear the wall with you, bitch. Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you. You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. And we need enough Paragon points or Renegade points to be able to stop this and keep both of their loyalty. Whoever you side with, they are the whoever you side with, the other person is going to uh, become disloyal. However, you are able to get it back when you're able to get a, enough Paragon, or you can uh, you can just not worry about that and 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 charm them. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Uh... Okay, let's go ahead and see if Miranda Commander, has anything else to say. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? 
There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Well, I'll let you work. I guess she doesn't want to talk Commander. to us about what just happened. But we do want to check in with uh with in with Jack to see exactly how she's doing. So let's go ahead and head up here first to do our research, which I'm excited about because more biotic damage is not a terrible thing, even though charge isn't really the damage component that we care about. It's the defensive component of what makes charge so powerful. But we can go ahead and do biotic damage. 50% biotic damage to our entire squad, which actually does make Miranda's warp even better. We'll go ahead and research that. 2,000 element zero required. And that unfortunately does not open up anything else, but that's fine. Whatever. You get what you get. Anyways, we are going to head back and talk to... Uh, well, we could talk to Jacob. He might have something to say, but we also have a new message at our terminal from Captain Bailey from our previous loyalty mission that we did, which was Thane's. Uh, hey, Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wards, maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your Drell and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there. Thank you, Bailey. Bailey, good guy Bailey. Hey, let's check in with Joker real quick before we proceed anywhere else and talk to other people. I love this loyalty mission. Um, it just, it's, it's just like, it feels like one that Jack really does need. Hey, Commander. Glad we figured out Jack is crazy because I was really up in the air, just hanging there. Uh huh. I see good for now. <laughs> see you, Commander. I love how he doesn't really say anything about Thane, but he does have something to say about. Uh, pretty much everybody else. So let's go ahead and let's let's see if Jacob has anything to say to us that are, isn't going to lead to us sleeping with him. Talking to Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Nice. Commander. But that's all he'll say to us for now. He won't say anything about, you know, doing it or any or, or anything hey why don't we talk to morton because i think it's been a while since we've talked to him shepherd how can i help let's see if he has anything to say have you got a minute to talk actually wanted to talk medical matters aware that mission is dangerous different species react differently to stress aware you come by a great deal have had other species become attracted to me before awkward not interested Morden thinks we're... You've had members of other species make a pass at you? Constantly. Very awkward. Skin tone apparently attractive by Turian standards. Subset of Krogan sexual deviants enjoy Solarian flexibility. More cartilage and skeletal structure. Asari offers intriguing, actually. Wonder why. Transspecies pheromones unlikely to work. Must be neurochemical. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself <laughs> while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. And that, my friends, is why Morden is just one of the best characters ever. Uh, he, we, he was screwing with us. Heading down into engineering... Finally, we can talk to Jack and see how she reacts to her loyalty mission being completed. Hopefully, she's not too upset. Hello, Jack. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you, you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let Arresh live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone, but I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit, prison, psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. 
Jack being a badass. And with that done, we have nothing left in our journal except for the things that are left in our journal. Don't look at it. Just pretend it's not there. Uh, we have the archaeological dig site, which is going to lead to the end of the Blue Sun. So, of course, we'll bring Zaid to stuff like that. We have the Arrival and the Overlord DLC, which, by the way, we will be tackling in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. The Overlord DLC, which is uh, very controversial and for very good reasons. Um, and we will go over that in that episode. And I will have a donation link in the description below uh, and um, to some different things we'll talk about that in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching we have done pretty much everything that we can loyalty missions are almost entirely done except for tally's loyalty mission and another one and there is a very specific reason why we are saving that and I, I can't wait to show you because it's amazing uh, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed we are now level 28 Corey Shepard Vanguard the colonist the hero the paragon thank you guys again Again for watching i sincerely appreciate you and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile online thank you guys so much and don't forget to leave a comment on these videos it really does help especially if you're watching it right when it comes out it helps boost us into the algorithm and hopefully these videos will be seen a little bit more in the future i love you guys never give up never surrender bye everyone